part one and part two on our indoor indoor gardening series and we talked about doing terrariums for uh, moisture thriving plants and we talked about doing some terrariums for succulents and another fun project too which includes a much simpler uh, group of materials is just designing ways to display your um, house plants so here's a couple of great container ideas one of my favorites is an urn, which is always pretty, and sometimes that can be transferred outside um, if the weather starts warming up for you. And some other fun ideas for containers for your indoor plants. Um, this is an old bird cage, or kind of a fake bird cage, um, which we actually had a bird nest in, and that's always fun to kind of leave in there if you can find a bird nest outside that fell out of a tree and put your plant in there, close that up, maybe stick a little fake bird on top, and that's kind of always a cute one. And this is kind of a nice one to hang up in front of a window too, if you have a place to hang your uh, bird cages or any kind of a, like a mesh cage that you could put a plant in. Um, so that's a fun one to hang up. And then there's all kinds of ideas like little holiday planners that you can buy. Um, this is a St. Patrick's Day one that um, somebody glued a bunch of moss onto and I'm pretty sure I bought it that way um, but there's another little cute way to display your your house plants um, the list goes on and on there's wood planters you know of any kind that you can put your house plants in you know there's just good old baskets that you can use to put your house plants in um, all kinds of fun ideas for containers you know toolboxes wood bowls shells um, this tractor is kind of a fun one. You can stuff little plants in there and even use the, the wagon to put plants into. Um, so, and glass jars, you know, more wire, more metal, and all kinds of other kind of fun containers. So, the fun part for me for house plants is just kind of finding great little containers to put them, on, put them in and get real creative with it. And, of course, when it comes to house plants, part of the trick on keeping them alive is not putting them too, too near direct sources of heat or cold, like uh, wood stoves or air vents um, in the floor, air conditioners, uh, drafty windows, anything where it might dehydrate your plant even indoors. So the best conditions for your indoor house plants are really a cooler room and the moist, moistest room that you have in your house. Um, in the Rockies, we have a very dry climate no matter what, whether it's inside or outside. So it is a little bit of a challenge for me to try and keep house plants in my house in particular, also because I just don't have enough um, indirect or even direct sunlight inside the house. So house plants can be a challenge. Um, some people have big green thumbs and lots of success with them. And I hope you do too, because I'm not one of them. <laughs> but the containers that you can put house plants in can be more fun than trying to keep your house plants alive. Um, but spray bottles and moisture, um, moisture environments are kind of the trick on keeping those going. So good luck with your house plants. And um, as I said, hopefully you get to see some of our other indoor gardening projects. And uh, look for some of my other ones that I'll be doing, which will include seed sprouting and bulb forcing and regrowing some vegetable uh, scraps from your kitchen and doing wheat, some wheatgrass flats and um, all kinds of fun herbs and edible indoor plants that you can grow all year long. So we will see you on those videos and let me know if you have any questions. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So let's get started. Subscribe to the Susie Homesteader channel 
and we'll see you there. Bye-bye.